channel. Today I'm going to be starting my weekend vlog on Friday. Today is Friday, it is the morning and I am just getting ready because I am going out shopping with my friend. I'm just waiting on her because she is currently at the hairdresser's so I have no idea what time she's going to be here but she said she'll let me know when she's on her way. She actually lives like an hour away from me because she's moved away but she still gets her hair done locally. So while she's here, we try and meet up. I've taken this afternoon off work because I normally work after school on a Friday, but I've taken it off and we're gonna have a lovely day shopping. She's got a long list of stuff she wants to get. So I think it's gonna be a bit of me following her around the shops and me trying not to spend any money because I've spent far too much already. Tomorrow, I've got an exciting meeting in the morning, which I'm really sorry, I'm gonna be one of those people I can't actually tell you about because in case it just doesn't happen. But yeah, gonna go and meet, there's someone at my door. I should check who that is. I wonder if that's Jess. Then I'm going to the cinema again. I feel like in every single vlog I do, I just keep going to the cinema. But I am going to the cinema tomorrow morning, like late morning, to go and see the Matilda musical, which I'm super excited about. I haven't got any plans for tomorrow afternoon. Might have a bit of a chill one. And then Sunday, James and I are actually going to go to Camden and go to the market and see if I can suss out any nice... I really want a shoulder bag, like a kind of Louis Vuitton kind of like a Louis Vuitton inspired Gucci like shoulder bag like a you know the ones like this if you know what I'm talking about that is my plan for Sunday so we're going to go to Camden and go and look for one of them so actually a really exciting weekend so I thought I was not actually going to have a lot to do this weekend I thought I'd actually be able to start painting the bedroom at the flat but looks like I've got a lot to do so that won't be happening we did actually buy some paint samples though to try out because James and I have decided we're going to decorate the bedroom at the flat which will obviously at some point be my bedroom too I'm gonna do a whole other vlog tracking from like the very start of decorating the, his room right up until the end so that you won't be able to see that until literally the room is finished and perfected so that's going to be happening behind the scenes just quickly whilst I'm chatting to you guys Thought I would update you on nails. Please excuse the colour of my hand. Went a bit, oh my God, look at the colour of it compared to my face. Oh goodness. That one's not as bad. This one's awful. <laughs> Might have to try and go and scrub this. What was I saying? Oh, I was going to talk to you about nails. These are £2.50 a pack from B&M. Let me show you the packet. So I picked up these ones that were in this packet. Then I picked up some real nudie ones, which I feel like, I don't know if I like this color. I feel like they look like they need painting. And then I also picked up, I mean, I've taken all the nails out of there so you can't really see, but it's that color and that shape. They were all from B&M. So they were a little bit more expensive than the Primark ones. They were £2.50 each. And I'm going to go into Primark today and see if I can get some of the Primark ones for a pound because I am loving these nails. I kind of take them off in the week because they come off quite easily. Like, not easily as in they ping off, just if you want to get them off, you can get them off. And so I kind of put them on at the weekend, wear them in the weekend, and then they kind of come off in the week. So then I can do my weekly activities of looking after the kids without these long, annoying nails. But I do really like these ones. So here is your call again to go and get some stick-on nails. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling now. I'm going to just finish off packing my bag. Then I will try and show you a little outfit of the day of what I'm going to wear today and get ready so that when my friend comes, we can go straight into town, go and get some lunch and go shopping. Yes, love the plan. I thought I would show you my outfit. I'm keeping it very simple and easy, just with a kind of plain, please excuse the dust on my mirror, plain kind of peplum -y style black t-shirt my blazer from H&M, my little bag, and then I can't decide which shoe, so I don't know whether to go casual with a trainer and a sock, or go loafers. So I haven't actually, please also excuse this really dirty carpet and the wires over there, but I haven't got time to sort it out, so we're just gonna go with it. So yeah, loafers, or chunky trainer, don't know which one. Let me know what I later. Can 
I say hello? <laughs> Alright, so Jess won't go on the camera, but we're just trying to decide what food we're going to get. So I think I want the yaki udon, but it contains wheat, so I think I should really go for the rice noodles, which is the pad thai. If I'm being good, what are you going to go for? Uh, the yaki Don't worry, soba. I won't get your face in this <laughs> yaki soba. Mm. Oh, at least you're not going for the one that's going to make me jealous. And then I think we're going to share the pork belly steamed buns. Even though they're not gluten free, but hey ho! We just came out of Wagamama's and my friend is actually next to me, but she won't come on the camera. Will you not come on? I had pad thai, which was delicious. Uh, we had some steamed buns <laughs> and I can't remember what she had, but she's boring anyway, because she won't come on camera. We've just come into Boots. And we're smelling some hand washes. Did you open this one? Yeah. Oh, it smells, nice it smells so good. These are on offer. But how cute do these look? This one and this one. For like a downstairs toilet. I think you should get these. Yeah, with the matching candle. Where's the candle. What is this brand? It smells so good though. Amber, vanilla and coconut. Mm. What is this? In yeah. in What's it called? Uh, yeah. With white collection. white collection. Basically, the white company. Cheap. It's a cheap version of the white company. But these are so cute. in H&M and I bought nothing. You're getting a coat. Again, she won't come on camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're now in m and and this is where I'm in my element. Like, honestly, this is where I find the most clothes. We've been to H&M, Zara. Where else have we been? Mango, Hollister. Where else have we been? <laughs> River Island. I haven't found anything. And yet, I come in m and and I want everything. I've convinced Jess to buy a coat, which is 50 pounds, and she's not very happy with me. I spent another 40 pound on another coat. What one? H&M. Oh, she bought a 40 pound coat in H&M. Now she's buying a 50 pound coat. Where are you going? Okay. Over there. <laughs> and now she's spending 50 pound on a coat in Marks and Spencers, but it's very nice, but, She's annoyed because it's very similar to the coat that I bought in Sainsbury's that I got in the sale for £15. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but this one's very nice. What's it made of? Oh, do you think there's any dresses here that I could wear to the wedding? And they're all a bit summery and floral. I don't really like floral. Hello, good morning. It's now, what day is it? Saturday? Yeah. I'm losing track of what day it is because I had, shut up, I had, oh there was just a fox on the road. I had yesterday off work so I'm losing track of what day it is. I had a really exciting meeting this morning which I'm very sorry but I can't actually tell you what it is yet, maybe in due course if it goes ahead. And now Sarah is making an appearance. Hi. And Georgia. It's making an appearance because we are off to the cinema again. <coughs> You're going at 40? Yeah. Really yeah, there are loads of films to watch. So today we're going to see Matilda the Musical and the reason we're going Saturday morning is because I think it's meant for kids so they don't show it in the evening. 
so we are going there now. Are we going to get some sweets? No, we're going to get under 12 tickets though. Under 12? Well, yeah, because if we're getting Oh my god, I didn't. Be like I got ID the other day for being 14. <laughs> I was buying some fake nails. I you little packs of Oh, oh. I love Or should we get a McDonald's drive through and take it in with us? Who are you guys doing after? I'm not doing anything after. Don't park in this. Um, oh, this is like lockdown days, isn't it? This is oh, going and doing our, and doing our pictures. <laughs> I didn't get a ticket. No, Jess, no, Jess, Jess, Jess got a ticket. Didn't Sarah didn't. No, I didn't. It ticket. was the day that we came for my birthday. I don't think that was a ticket. Do you not? No. There was a parking space yeah, there. Yeah, right there. Oh, that was a bit rude. Should we go down this one? Yeah. The one that says arrow this way? Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Sure. <laughs> well, I would, I'd always go on the end. So I'm really close. Oh, it's not that busy. It's that's fine. <laughs> yeah, no one's at the cinema at this time. That's yeah. a really nice car. Right. We'll go next to the really nice car. So. Huh? Oh, I just wanted to show you my sister's outfit because I think it's really cute. So, Georgia, where is your jumper from? Uh, H&M. Where's your jacket from? Come back to me. Come back to you? <laughs> where are your shoes from? The Uggs. Little pink Uggs. Uh, Come on, where's your jacket from? Oh. Primark? No. It's and from Debenhams. Debenhams? Yeah, from Debenhams. It's really it nice. £23 in the sale. £23 actually. in the sale? I really like it. Really nice. What size are you wearing? I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Just for reference for people. It's Boohoo from... Oh, it's Boohoo. And it's a UK 14. 14? Yes. It's very nice. I like it. So, my boots are from Matalan, which what are really stretchy, so they fit. Size 6. I've got my, this blazer I got in New Look in the sale yesterday. And How just got my Primark t-shirt with the little ribbed neck that I keep telling you about. Oh, she's got one on too. <laughs> and my bag. I keep saying I'm going to tell you where it's from and I can't remember. And then I've got a hoodie. Bag. I've got a hoodie in case I get cold in the cinema. So... Cinema. What did you two think of that film? Yeah, it was quite good. It was all right, wasn't it? We went to see it because we the loved the show. Yeah, the main little girl was cute. I think it was more aimed at children. It was kind of like they mixed the theatre show and the film, and then tried to put in their own twist. So it's a bit of a lot going on. Yeah. I, yeah. I just like, we were all falling asleep at a little bit. <laughs> One but point, but we went to see it because we all like the song. How are my nails? This hand is all good. I've lost one. I lost it in the cinema. What are you having? Well, they haven't got no pitters, have they? I don't know. Is this like a Valentine's special? Where? No, that's just what it is. I'm gonna go for a wrap. We've just got to Camden, we've just driven here, and I have just got in the smallest parking space. So you were impressed, weren't you? It was good. I might actually show you the space. We're gonna get out now, go get some lunch. Let's go, what are we gonna have? What do you fancy? Uh, food. Me? Fancy me? Yeah. Look at the color difference of our skin. Because you have lots of fake tan. Why does my jumper look massive? What food? What food do you want? I want Thai. Okay. We could do Thai? Or should we yeah. get some street food? I mean, anything. Start okay. Off. Come then. I'll show you the parking space that I just got in. Excuse how dirty my car is. Actually, this space looks all right, you know. But this is the space. I think that's pretty good parking, don't you? We're on a very tight street. And I had cars watching.
gonna bike up them Route 66 anytime soon. Oh, I love soon. that one. Our child will wear this. Do you? Yeah. They will wear that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go to next? I mean, all we've looked at is women's clothing so far. We're off to go and find some bags. On our way back from London, made James drive home. Are you happy about that? Yes. <laughs> I'm telling him off for going in bus lanes. I bought a few things in Primark and I bought a few things the other day. So I will try and show them tomorrow morning and show you a little bit. I, have, I am aware, James has just told me that every single vlog I've done I've been speaking about Primark but that's just where I like to shop so hopefully you guys like it too but I will show you the little bargains I got in there today we went to the Tottenham Court Road one which was meant to be really good and I, we didn't really find anything did we no sorry <laughs> that was my cue to speak um, yes Primark um, it was massive though wasn't it 
Yeah, but I don't think it had anything else, anything more than the ones at home have. So it's all the same, Primark. Yeah. Got your one pound nails though, didn't you? I got, well, no, I got another pack of one pound nails for my mother, because she keeps telling me how nice they look. These are the ones I've got at the moment. I can't remember if I've shown you or not. Probably not actually, because I put these on last night. They're just a French one. So, no, weren't that impressed with Tottenham Court Road, Primark. And next one I'm gonna go to is gonna be Lakeside and Blue Water. Do you wanna come to that one? No, no. <laughs> I, think, I think we should go to Lakeside. It's not needed. Yeah. Not needed. Yeah, next payday, Lakeside, Primark. We were just reminiscing on what happened at lunchtime, but we got some food in Camden Market and we wanted pad thai, but the way it worked is you paid for your plate and then you chose, what did you choose? So you chose either rice or noodles, but yeah, I wanted noodles. I wanted rice noodles so that they were gluten free. So so I, she was getting a right strop because she wanted rice noodles. So I kept saying to the guy, rice noodles, and he was like, rice or noodles? I was like, well, rice noodles. Ah, oh, both. No, just, just rice noodles. <laughs> And she just kept shouting rice noodles at me. The guy just kept shouting rice and noodles at me. <laughs> Whatever I did, I could have went. So the guy thought we wanted rice and noodles, but I wanted rice noodles. So I think they're called pad thai noodles. Yeah, it was quite funny and quite confusing. But what was really annoying is you just paid for the plate. So the plate was £12. And, but we didn't realise, because when we went to Budapest, we got stung because we kept adding stuff to the plate, didn't we? And we got like mm. charged. How much did we pay in Budapest? Like £22, £22 pound for a plate of food. So at this one, we didn't realise that you could just like add loads of food. So then at the end, we hadn't really added lots, had we? And then we paid £12 for a bit of noodles, some chicken and a spring roll. At least it was nice. We got rice noodles. And we got rice noodles, not rice and noodles. Check. Yeah. Well done, babe. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this, my phone stays where it is. It's like balanced on a glass jar and then kitchen roll and then against a candle. I desperately need to get myself a tripod that goes like on the table, like a, maybe a ring light one actually. I keep going to buy one and then, I don't know, does anyone else get like overwhelmed on Amazon when there's so many options you don't know which one to pick and they're all like 50p difference in price and then they've all got different reviews and you just don't know what one to um, order. But I'm gonna order myself one of them to make this a bit easier. Also, please excuse my fluffy hair. I tried like blow drying my fringe but it's just made it go so annoying like this bit here and i did actually curl it a second ago but i've just chucked it up in a bun the reason i'm coming on quickly now is just to show you the few bits that i got in primark the other day i am aware that i just keep showing you stuff that i buy in primark but i love a trip to primark i love going to shops where i can hunt for bargains and like hunt for stuff that i look at and then think oh my goodness i need that so I'm going to show you the bits I got. Just before that, I thought I'd show you a couple of other bits I got in my shopping trip with my friend the other day. Um, I got this little purse from Mango. I thought it was really cute. I thought it was a bit Louis Vuitton inspired and it's just super kind of easy to pop your cards, money in, and it's little, so it fits in little bags. And then I also picked up this peach and pout from Soap and Glory. It's a little lip balm, but it's in this kind of really nice orange colour. It doesn't come out that bright when you put it on. And I got that in the sale in Boots. It was just in one of those sale aisles. So that is from Soap and Glory and I've been enjoying that. These are the few bits that I have got from Primark. What did I buy the other day? I can't remember what I bought when I went with James in Camden because that isn't in here. I might have to go and get those bits in a second. Right, first up, I got six packs. I've already used a pack of nails. Yep, yeah, use that one. Those were the ones I had on, on Sunday. So I got some brown ones, some nudie ones, some mismatchy ones, and then just some square ones. I love the fact that these are all really short, so that not so much them, but these ones are short, so they'll be easy to wear and not get in my way when I've got them on. This hair is really annoying me. Right, next up I bought this little jar, which I thought was really cute. They also did a bigger one, which I'm thinking now should I've got the bigger one as well, but I'm thinking this will be really cute at the flat with some coffee pods in. At the moment I've got, where's it gone? Oh, 
you're resting on it. I've got a bigger one at home at the moment, but I thought I would take this one to James's because this kind of teak, is that what they call it? This teak lid matches the vibe of his flat. So I really like that and I like the size of it as well. And that was £3.50. Next, I got this bowl, which I love. It reminds me of like a shell from the beach, but I really like it. It was £3.50 and I'm going to use this. Basically, I bought this so that if I do like a dish in a bowl and I want to get a cute Instagram picture, this is an Instagrammable bowl. So when I picked it up, I said, I'm buying this because it is Instagram worthy and I might actually go back and get the matching plate because I really like that. So that's cute. Next, I got the socks that I keep showing you. So I got the, I think in my last haul that I did on my big Primark haul, I showed you that I got the long ribbed socks. I picked up a pair of pack of these when I went back another time. I feel like I live my life in Primark. You're all gonna think that I need to get a job in there or something so that I'm in there all the time. But <laughs> clearly I just love going to Primark. But I picked up these ones, which were slightly shorter. And I actually much, much prefer these because you don't have them like, you don't have to like bunch them all up around your ankle and they just fit on really nicely. I also found them in this colorway. So in these ones, you get a kind of beigey pair, a creamy pair, and then a khaki green pair. And then they've got like the mismatch kind of contrasting colors at the top. So they are four pounds. And I believe they must be the same. I don't know why Primark keep doing this thing where they just don't put any prices on the back, but I'm assuming they were four pound as well. So I picked up two, pa two packs of the white. I already have a pack in my room. I really need to go through my sock drawer actually. Does anyone else just love going through their sock drawer? And then when you come to it the next time and it's all organized, it's just like the best feeling in the world. So I really need to do that and get rid of all my old socks and put in all these new ones nicely so that I can kind of see where they all are and not have to hunt around for a pair of socks every morning. I picked up another one of these white t-shirts because you can never have enough of these, £4.50. And then the last thing I got, and I'm really sorry I've left the most boring thing to last, but I picked up some cotton bags. They didn't have the big oval ones, which are the ones I normally get. So I just grabbed these because you can never have enough cotton pads. I might actually run in now and see in my room if I can remember what I bought when I went to London. Oh, I know what I bought. Right, I'll come back, one sec. I knew I bought more exciting stuff when I went to Camden. I did pick up two pairs of trainers, a hoodie, a sweatshirt, and a blazer, as well as all this in here. Well, I'm not all of this because I was actually really good and I put most of the stuff back. Yeah, I traipsed around the Tottenham Court Primark and <laughs> literally looked at every single section, picked up different bits whilst going around, tried on about six blazers, tried on a few pairs of shoes, and then got to the till and I was like, no, do you know what? I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna put most of this back. So I'm actually really proud of myself. James wasn't very happy because it was like, why have we just walked around the whole of Primark when you've put it all back on the shelf? But, you know, you've got to start somewhere. Okay, there's, I only bought two things. So I said when I was going to Camden, I was going there to look for a bag and I very, very nearly bought a Louis Vuitton dupe bag from one of the shops. So I went in, he showed me the rubbish one and he was like, oh, this is 80 pound. I was like, 80 pound, Jesus. So then I was like, mm, no. And then he showed me one that was basically identical to the one on the website and it was a hundred and he said it was 180 pound. And then obviously because I'd seen the one that was so realistic and then I saw the one that was like obviously completely and utterly fake, I was like, well now if I was going to choose, I would obviously go for the one that's more realistic. So I started bartering with him and he's obviously started at 180 pound and I, and then he said, how much would you want to spend? So I kind of was like, oh, like went quite low. And I said, 80 is my maximum. So then he obviously came back and said, no, said that's far too cheap. Like it's 180. So I was like, that's fine, okay, that's all right, I'll walk away. I wasn't gonna spend 180 pound on a fake bag in Camden. And so I walked away and then he like followed me across the road. He's quite consistent actually. He followed me across and then his workmate also followed me and said, oh, I can do more discount, how much do you wanna spend? So I just stuck to my guns and said 80, 80, 80. And they did actually, cut a long story short, come down to 80 pounds. So I went back in and tried on two different ones and then I couldn't decide between two different styles. He asked James what he thought, he had no idea and said, I have no idea what you're talking about, like, it's a bag, 
Like, I don't get the obsession. Don't even understand why you're going to spend £80 on a bag. So I said, I'm going to go out and phone my sister. They were quite persistent to, like, keep me in there. I guess because they wanted the sale and they could see that I was keen. So I went outside, spoke to my sister. And then I'm glad I spoke to her because she kind of turned around and was like, do you actually need it? Were you planning on spending £80 on a bag? Anyway, long story short, I decided not to buy the bag. I was really good with myself. It was beautiful. It was such a lovely bag. But I decided instead I was going to look in Primark and I was going to get myself one in there. So that is what I did. And I found this little number, which reminds me of the, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, the Jacquemese, Jack, Jack, Jacks that you know what I'm talking about, that designer brand. So it has a long strap like this, the little gold chain detail, and it was only nine pounds. So I am quite proud of myself that I put back the 80 pound bag that I obviously would have loved. And the fact I got him down from 180 pounds, but I am proud of myself that I went and bought this one instead. And I really like it. So that's that. And then the last thing I've got to show you is something that I got in the sale. I told you all that I was going there to look at the homeware section. There was absolutely zilch there. I mean, obviously there was stuff there, but it was nothing that I hadn't seen before. There was a really nice framed canvas that I really wanted for when we decorate the room, bedroom at the flat, but James wasn't sold on it. And obviously you have to agree. Something I'm learning but you have to agree on things when you are decorating together. So we didn't get that, but we did get this tray and I have a bin that this matches that I will be taking with me when I move in there. And I thought that was really cute. So I thought I would style this. I have the Hemneys H Raw unit. I'll put a picture up here so you know what I'm talking about from Ikea. And I'm going to take that with me when I move in. And that's going to go at the end of the bed with the telly on one side. And then I thought this would look really nice the other side with like a vase and maybe, I would say pampas, but James doesn't like pampas. So maybe some like dried flowers of some sort and maybe a candle on there. And that was reduced from £7 to £4. And I thought that was really cute. Really like that. Absolutely love this bag. Love all the other bits I got as well. Absolutely love this jar. So if you are thinking of going to Primark, then I would highly recommend going and don't forget to buy your one pound nails. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog now. Today is actually Tuesday and I will hopefully be posting this tonight. I don't know if I'll get this on tonight or tomorrow, Wednesday. I try and post every Tuesday, but yeah, I just needed to obviously film that and show you the bits that I got in Primark. Hopefully next time I'll be able to bring you a haul from a different shop. Maybe I will try and do a B&M, what's in B&M. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. And then I have got a few more ideas of different videos I'd like to do, as well as my weekend vlogs. There are other ones like more specific that I would like to do. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see them. And thank you so much for watching. I am more grateful than you'll ever know if you have made it to the end of this video. And I hope to see you again in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Bye. Thank you.